I need somebody to explain to me how they know when they're ovulating. I don't, I, I never, I don't know how you guys know that. And I don't understand why you guys turn in the werewolves. Are you familiar with the consistency of egg whites? <laughs> this video is going to be long, but it is going to be packed full of information. What's ovulation? Why does it matter to a dude? And how to know when we're experiencing it? Both men and women have a daily hormonal cycle. But women also have a monthly hormonal cycle that supersedes that. Now remember, hormones don't make you more or less emotional. They impact your body sensations. Think hunger, horniness, nausea. Men's bodies biologically are much simpler than women's, okay? They have a daily cycle. That's why you tend to get horny the same time of day, you get hungry the same time of day, you like and dislike the same foods day to day. Women, on the other hand, fluctuate throughout the month. You might be more or less tired, hungry, nauseous, and horny. <laughs> the standard monthly cycle is 28 days. Anywhere between 21 and 35 days is considered normal. Note that lots of women have irregular cycles. A lot of women simply refer to their period as their cycle, but that's actually not their cycle. That's just day one of their cycle. So day one is the first day you start bleeding. Right before our cycle starts is usually when we feel our worst. Lower energy, lower arousal. We need more sleep. We might be pickier eaters. First couple days of our period, we're often in a lot of pain. We're uncomfortable. After those first couple days, things start trending up. Our estrogen is slowly rising, making us feel more pretty, calm, energized. And right about day 14, our luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone shoot up. And that triggers our body to release an egg, which is called ovulation. And this is when our bodies are most likely to get pregnant. Both men and women's bodies have evolved to try and have sex when they're most likely to get pregnant. Men have an equal chance of causing pregnancy every single day, so they don't really change in their horniness sort of day to day. But women, they do. Most of the month, sex, men, that's like kind of low priority, right? Like it's not that you can't have sex, there's no reason not to, it's just like, it's just like not a high priority. Most of the month, evolutionarily, it doesn't really make sense for women to want to prioritize sex. It is evolutionarily a waste of resources to be out seeking sex when what we should be doing is making our home neat and tidy, building community and connections with friends, and minimizing risk, maybe not going out and trying to meet more males that are a potential danger. Evolutionarily, sex is a low priority for women 27 days out of the month. But that one day, all hell breaks loose. It's really about a five-day period when we're most likely to get pregnant. So around day 14, a lot of crazy stuff is happening. Our hormones are getting intense. Our estrogen is at its peak. It's about to crash and burn, but right now it is at its peak. So like Alexa, play man, I feel like a woman. We're feeling pretty, sexy, sharp. Something else happens. All of a sudden, our testosterone shoots up crazy high. This is why women say we become werewolves, because all of a sudden we become significantly more impulsive and horny, because that's what testosterone does to a body. Energized, easily aroused, maybe more likely to partake in risk-taking behavior. We're suddenly hornier, we want sex more, orgasms are easier to come by. While ovulating, our body temperatures actually go up a half a degree, and our PRs in lifting can go up 11%. <laughs> a man knowing roughly when a woman is ovulating is huge. It is a cheat code. Because it is the best time to shoot your shot. <laughs> now remember, not every woman's cycle is a perfect 28 days. I personally have more like a 35 day cycle, so I actually don't know what day I ovulate, except I totally know what day I'm ovulating <laughs> because there are signs. Because <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm just like so aware of men. Like most days, like I'm not noticing men any more than I'm noticing women. And then all of a sudden, I'm hyper aware of all men in my vicinity. <laughs> all men suddenly go from, eh, who cares, to like, that guy's kind of cute, that guy's kind of cute, that guy's kind of cute. <laughs> I'll drive past the same construction site I drive past every single day, and all of a sudden, I'll be like, when did all those guys get so hot? <laughs> also, some women have like a discharge that's kind of different. Listen, women are leaky creatures. <laughs> but when we're ovulating, we have a more specific type of discharge that's like kind of jelly-like. This might be TMI, but I'll like see it in my underwear and be like, oh, that's why I'm not able to focus. <laughs> Honestly, pour one out for the guys because like, I don't know how you deal with that like hyper awareness of the opposite sex like every single day. How do you get anything done? How do you deal with that yearning? Although I am jealous, you get that like electrified feeling all the time. It's half the month I feel like shit. <laughs> currently cramping and bleeding as we speak. Anyway, as a man, it's good for you to strike while the iron is hot, right? Don't get me wrong, women can be turned on any time of the month. It's just not as like hormonally accessible. Think of it like conditions for starting a fire. Like I can get a fire going nearly any time. Sometimes you gotta search harder for firewood. It's a little damp, the wind's blowing. And other times like everything's dry and ready to go up in flames with the smallest spark. When you're first shooting a shot with a new girl, like you're kind of fighting an uphill battle. Going on a date with my husband is a no brainer. Love him, I know he's safe, he's my partner. But going on a date with a new person really does create a lot of risk for women. Evolutionarily, our bodies are worried about physical safety, sexual health, you name it. But when we're ovulating, we're a little more likely to be like, what the hell, I'll go on a date. He seems like a nice guy. He 
is kind of cute. I feel energized. Let's give it a try. Versus when we're not ovulating, where we might be like, I don't know. I don't really feel like leaving my house. I, I'm kind of tired. I don't even really like men right now. He's just a friend. I don't want to make things weird. Just when we're ovulating and we're suddenly hungry for men and interaction with them. There's actually been a lot of men in my life who I'm like, they were a great guy, but I wasn't really feeling any chemistry with them or I didn't want to go on a date with them. And sometimes I wonder like, what if they just asked me at a different point in my cycle? Like, how would that have changed things? So ovulation, really important time of the month. If you can, you kind of want to aim for this time period when you're shooting your shot. Do not get weird. I'm going to give you guys some super helpful information, but I need you to promise me you'll use it for good and not evil. You are not going to ask somebody about their cycle. Don't violate someone's privacy and ask about their genitals. Don't look at somebody's cycle tracking app. Don't be weird and creepy, okay? But there are some observable signs. Number one, if this girl's your friend, you might hear her complain about her period. Remember that marks day one, so roughly two weeks after that is the best time to try to flirt with her or shoot your shot. If you're not close enough that she's telling you about when she's on her period, pay attention to if she asks other women around her for Advil. That means it's likely that she's roughly around day one. And don't get weird, don't start counting, just kind of think to yourself like, okay, roughly two weeks from now, I'm gonna shoot my shot. Number two, the biggest indicator of where a woman is in her cycle is her skin. So let's say there's a cute girl at the coffee shop and you've been trying to muster up the courage to give her your number. Pay a little attention to her skin. If you notice more pimples, especially around her mouth, that's a very good sign that she's probably on her period or just about to start it. So roughly two weeks from now, good time to shoot your shot. Her skin is likely clearest in that middle of our cycle right when we're ovulating. If you notice her face looks more symmetrical, like she looks more pretty than usual, she's probably ovulating. Our faces actually get more symmetrical when we're ovulating. It has to do with muscle innervation, but it's crazy. <laughs> Men actually rate women as more attractive when they're ovulating. <laughs> it's all biology. So if you find that she smells better than normal or she looks prettier than normal, that's a very good sign that she's probably ovulating. If you've got a crush on a girl and she looks extra pretty today, that's a good time to shoot your shot. Give her a compliment or be a little flirty and see how she responds, whatever. There's been so many men in my life that have flirted with me or asked me out or who I've gone on a date with that checked a lot of boxes and were really great in a lot of ways, but I just like didn't feel a spark. I didn't feel chemistry. I didn't feel pulled towards them. And sometimes I'm like, I wonder if I just like met them at the wrong time of the month. Side note, if you're a straight dude, don't feel bad if women aren't tripping over themselves to get to you. They're only equally as horny as you, or I guess at least like interested in meeting a new potential partner as you like once a month. Most of the month, we're kind of just doing our thing. So don't decide that you're bad just because most women don't want to have conversations with a new stranger most of the month. 